Hi everyone. Today I want to introduce the concepts for the BitFlip code. BitFlip code is an algorithm for quantum error correction. Quantum error correction is used for correcting the errors appearing in quantum computers. For example, the noise from the environment or from the quantum device itself. And in this video, we'll be specifically talking about the BitFlip code. A BitFlip error is a specific type of error where the qubit's computational state flips from 0 to 1 or vice versa. And there's a chance that the error caused the bit flip and the probability for the bit flipping is p. So at the output, the probability of the state that remains the same as the input is 1 minus p. The concept for the bit flip code is to increase the probability for sending the original information from the input to the output. So for example, here at the input, we have a qubit initialized by the zero state. And after applying the bit flip code error correction, we got to lower the probability for the bit flip. So here is how we are going to apply the bit flip code to the circuit. We added two other qubits in the system. This is a three qubit circuit that makes use of two ancillary qubits to correct one qubit. The code works by first using an encoder to transfer the computational state of the main qubit to the other ancillary qubits. So when we send the information from the input, the qubit carrying the information will be encoded into a greater number of qubits. In this case, the qubit with the information state 0 will be encoded with two ancillary qubits. After the encoding process, the input becomes state 0, 0, 0. And there's a chance that while the information is transmitted from the input to the output, the qubits might be flipped due to the error since there is the probability of the errors. In the final step, the information will then be passed to the decoder. And the decoder will then correct the information and at the output, we can get the information with the probability of P. If we look into the encoder, let's say that the main qubit state was zero. Two signal gates will be applied to the ancillary qubits, which will leave them unchanged since the main qubit state was zero. There are two signal gates connected to the target state and the control state. The first two qubits will be encoded with one signal gate, and the third qubit will then also be encoded so the three qubits will be encoded into a greater number of qubits with two signal gates. After passing through the bit flip simulation at the decoder, in order to correct the bit flip, the signal gates are applied to the ancillary qubits. After passing through the bit flip simulation at the decoder, in order to correct the bit flip, the signal gates are applied to the ancillary qubits again, and then a toffoli gate is applied to the first qubit, which will correct its state. The decoder works like a counter, counting the number of the zeros of the output and then decides what the information of the first qubit was carrying. If at the output state, there are more zeros than ones, then the decoder will decode the information to be zero state, which means that the first qubit in this case will be zero at the output. On this slide, it shows both the probability at the output between the two cases with and without the bit flip error correction. And finally, in conclusion, we can write down the equations for the probability for each case. And we can then plot the results and show that while the probability is smaller than 0.5, then the probability of the bit flipping does decrease 
if we apply the Biblic code for the error correction. So far, we talked about the mechanism behind how the Biblic code works, and then we can move on to the demonstration of the Kiskit code in the next part.